Good morning. Good morning. It is like we're matchy matchy. It is like a little over three hours after the last time we saw you. Three thirty. So Sarah's already got her bags packed. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna bring her to the airport, and then her little adventure begins. Yeah. So I am at the airport now. It is dead. It took me literally five minutes to go through security. It's just really funny because we're going to be flying again in two weeks, right before Thanksgiving. And I really want to be able to like compare where I'm sitting now with nobody around to the chaos that will probably be here in two weeks. So I am two hours early for my flight. I mean, I'm used to going, you know, through the Chicago airport, it takes a little bit longer. I mean, Orlando is sometimes long too, but I just want to be prepared. I have some stuff I can do. I have some books I can read. Um, so I'm just gonna chill, and yeah, I'll I'll see you in Chicago. In Chicago. Four stars. Julasco. I'm at the Chicago stop and I am going to head on over now. It is beyond being here. It automatically feels like Christmas with it being colder and I'm super excited to see everybody. So I'm all done at my old job. It was so great to see everybody. Um, so now I'm just in an elevator. I've never taken elevators at the CTA, which is the Chicago Transit 30, not the TTA. Um, but with my luggage, I just could not, could not handle the stairs. So I'm transferring now back to the Orange Line, which is a, it's the train that actually will take me back to Midway. And then Christina's fiance, Grant, he's gonna come and pick me up. So I'm gonna take the elevator again, because actually I'll just carry my bag. Alrighty, so I have made it back to where I started and I'm seeing a nap in my future. We have made it home. Here is my, what, what do you call it? Jeeves, my chauffeur. Yeah. <laughs> he picked me up in his lovely outfit. And now I'm just gonna eat my mom out of house and home. That's the plan. <laughs> that was Christina. <laughs> Come to Chicago, get deep dish pizza. Whoa. 
Now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that is deep ditch. How's the progress down there? It's good. I cleaned everything so I just need to throw this away. You have to help me do a slow motion shot of the the pizza so we can send it to send it to photo. Send it to Peter. So we can send it to photo? <laughs> so we can photo to Peter. Um. Peter, do this in slow motion. Ooh, <laughs> mom did it in slow motion for you. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, everybody. I'm not sure what's going on here, but I was gonna try to park at the Grand Floridian and there was sheriffs on motorcycles lining the entire world drive to come over here. And then they weren't letting people in the Grand Floridian. I'm not sure why, and so I don't know if I'm gonna turn around and go towards Magic Kingdom parking or if I'm gonna go all the way around the back side of Magic Kingdom. They do this sometimes when they deliver the big Christmas trees, but I don't know why they would be doing that at 6 p.m. I'm not sure. So, we'll see where that's going on. There's two sheriffs on motorcycles up there. There's one around the corner over here. I've seen like 15 so far. Here comes a, a car with lights on and everything right here. Well, we'll see. All right, so the plot thickens. These are, looks like managers over here in suits with name, cast member name tags on with a sheriff right here waiting for something to pull in. I don't know if we'll see, but we will keep an eye out. I figured it out. I don't know why all these people are turning around, but the Secret Service is here for some reason. They had a whole big like collection of trucks and sheriffs, and I saw Secret Service agents. So somebody from the government is at the Grand Floridian for whatever reason. So I'm not going to go turn around if you didn't know there's a back road that goes all the way around Magic Kingdom. It can go, it brings you all the way to the Contemporary. So I'm going to follow that road. It's where the cast members park and follow that back around to either Polynesian parking or um, cast member. Ooh, look at that solar, that sun flare, or cast member parking. That's what's going on. It's been like a 30 minute journey trying to get around. So here's Spaceship Earth or Space Mountain. There's Space Mountain. I came all the way around, so now I'm hopping up with buses over here and then contemporary to your left. They, they're sticklers about parking there. Um, I don't even really try anymore, but I might try ponies or I might just go do normal parking. Another thing about this is I decided to use my iPhone today, so it might be not a, it might not be as stable, but through undisclosed sources, I was able to get confirmation that it is Mike Pence he is at the Grand Floridian doing a speech. He just arrived. Welcome aboard the world famous Jingle Cruise! Yeah. Are we excited for the holidays or no? Not yet. No, well, you better, you, by the end of this cruise you'll be there. My name is Brandon, I'm going to be your skipper, cruise director, social instructor, tree trimmer, popcorn stringer, and secret Santa. Oh, you aren't supposed to know that yet. For the next three days... 12 days and one silent night. One, two, three, go! Jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on the Jungle Cruise today. Hey! Wow, you guys are the first ones to join in. Now I told them that they couldn't be the rhino of fruitcake. They were trying to get rid of it. They didn't believe me, but I think we all know who's going to get the point. Oh my goodness, would you look at that? It's the little drummer boy. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh my goodness, carolers! 
And we're like, get down, get down, get down, get down. Turn off the light, that's like you're not home. Toss them some picky pudding. Yeah, that's the only way that'll get rid of them. Take it. It's the secret entrance to Santa's workshop. What do you say, guys? Should we go in? Yeah. Yes. Oh, wait a minute, guys. Um, I was mistaken. Um, it's not Santa's workshop, so everyone try not to cry, and I will do the same. My good friend Trader Sam to Trader Sam to now Trader Sam to has a special holiday deal going for everyone. Yeah, that's three of his heads for only one of yours. Either way you slice it or dice it, you do always come out ahead. That is so much fun. I want to come back during the day. Thank you, Jake. Thank you. Wanted to come back during the day and and check out those decorations because there was a lot that they didn't make jokes about that I saw in the background and like I said this camera off the iPhone it's great during the day struggles at night especially with other lights you can see the flares coming out of it um, but I was on the phone when I walked in so I'm gonna head on over to Main Street and show you guys the decorations that they do have up they are gonna add some more before the first party next Thursday um, but I'm gonna show you I tell you, I don't think they're they're lighting. I haven't asked the customer yet if they're gonna light the castle tonight. Don't know when the first lighting is, but it feels something magical to be back here during the holiday season. All the decorations up. We, I haven't seen this, and I like. I'm sad that Sarah's not with me, but I'm sending her pictures right now, and I'm gonna live stream it a little bit, and hopefully she'll join in. I know she's hanging out with her mom right now, but it feels so good to see these decorations. We have not seen these since 2011, back when we worked here. I'm, work, I'm, I'm walking upstream here, so I gotta be courteous to everybody who's doing the right thing and walking on the right side of Main Street and everything, but they have the merchandise style. Main Street is mostly decorated. I know they're gonna put some banners up on both sides here, um, but they usually do, they just haven't, it's only been like, look, today's the second. So it hasn't been much time at all, but they have the music going. They've got a lot of decorations up, and it feels good. It feels so good. Woo! Alrighty, everybody, so we've just been enjoying time at home. Um, Peter is at the Magic Kingdom right now. I'm sure you're loving all the Christmas stuff. He keeps on sending me pictures. I am on my way over to my brother and sister-in-law's house, Peter's brother's house. Um, our niece, Avery, she turned five on the 30th, so I'm going to give her her gift. I got Grant, our, our little nephew, whose birthday is in the summer, a little gift too, so I'm going to go over there, spend some time with them. Um, yeah, and that's really the rest of my plans for the night. Other than that, it's just going to be relaxing at home. So I hope to share some, maybe a dance party or something fun with them while I'm there. All righty, miss, are you ready? Mm-hmm. Just put your finger under it. You're such a dainty present opener. <laughs> you want to eat your gift? You gotta ask mama, yeah. It's kind of late. You can eat it tomorrow. It'll be a good. He sent it. Yeah. Yeah. With all the clothes. It's so cool. It goes through all their outfits and shows you what kind of fabrics they use. Isn't that the coolest since you love clothes so much? What do you think? You love it? It's like the other side. Uh-huh. Hi guys. Are they part of you? What? Are they part from you guys? Yeah, they're um not really the Hi, Bella right there. Yep, I'm sorry. Did you know your parents lived in Pendle Pines? Yeah, they're like, Florida? That's like where they're in San Juan. Oh, oh, ah! Woo! 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 Did that hurt? Yeah. Oh, oh. Ew! Can you talk like a duck? Duck, duck. <laughs> 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 Everybody's 
Are you living the life? Mm. What are you watching? <gasps> Halloween. Halloween. You're so sweet to your kitty cats. Two cats. One cat, two cats. Two cats. Now I'm kind of contemplating because I'm that nuts. Thinking about doing the boats. I'm, I parked at Polynesian. Thinking about taking the boats over to the Grand Floridian to either see if anything is reminiscent of Mike Pence doing a speech there. I doubt it. I think it was gone. I think that's what that helicopter I saw earlier was. His motorcade leaving. Um, if not, just curious to see if they've got any decorations up because favorite resort all time favorite. Between that, it's either that or Wilderness Lodge. One of those is my favorite for sure. Have a good night. Thank you. Um, one of those two is my favorite. So uh, I just kind of flip flop between them. But Grand Floridian during Christmas time. If it could get more beautiful than Grand Floridian, it is Grand Floridian during Christmas time. I highly, I don't see, I could see them starting. The resorts usually don't get go until closer to, I think, you know what, I don't remember, to be honest. I'm not gonna try to sell it like I know, because I don't, I don't remember. I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that there's something, there's some decorations up, or that there's the groundwork or things are moved for the gingerbread house, because the Grand Floridian smells amazing to begin with. It had a giant gingerbread house that you could walk in. Oh, it's even better. I just realized that I didn't even go get a good look at the, well, here's the fireworks. I didn't even get a good look at the, um, the front of the train station, like the big giant ornament made of poinsettias. So I'll be back here Sunday. Hopefully I'll be back here during, Sunday during the day. So I'll make sure to show you guys a lot of that stuff during the day, and I'm sure by then that they will be doing the castle lighting, all the decorations will be up, because the filming starts Sunday for the parade, so they got to Look at this, I got fireworks, got a monorail, Christmas decorations, the boat is pulling up right now. The only thing I need is my wife right next to me again, but she's, she's having a good time in Chicago. Grand Floridian, though it's beautiful, had nothing special going on. Oh, I didn't even mention it today. Today is the 100th vlog. So when you were watching today's video, that was the 100th video that went up. Today is the 100th daily vlog. Thank you from the deepest part of mine and Sarah's hearts. We love doing this. We love sharing our adventures with you. We love that even one person, let alone the dozens, well, the thousands of people that have watched, and the dozens of people that have reached out to us, who have said hi to us in the parks, who have reached out via email or Twitter, or Instagram comments. We are extremely grateful. We did this vlog. We, did the, we would do the move regardless, but we did the vlog because we wanted to see if we, if we could do it, if we could produce a creative outlet for Sarah and myself, and to push ourselves to have memories every single day that we'd be proud of, and just to have for our future selves and our future children and our children's children to look back and see, look at this adventure that we did or are doing because I don't, we don't have an end date for the vlog. We don't have an end date for living here. We could live here forever. We could not live here forever. We could vlog forever. We could not vlog forever. As long as we're doing it, we're doing it. It is what it is, as Sarah's dad says. So, thank you. I am home. It is late. I need to go to bed. I need to get up and work on a bunch of stuff for work. But thank you for following along today with uh, with me today, Magic Kingdom, and with Sarah back in Chicago. So it'll be a fun, fun time to edit this video tomorrow, and exciting to see how the rest of this weekend goes with us being in two different spots. So. Okay, everybody. Well, that's the end of my first day in Chicago. I am extremely tired. If you cannot tell, I really only slept about two hours last night. So I'm going to bed. Peter is still at the movies, but I'm hoping to stay awake until he's back. But I'm on the right hand side so he can kind of piece us together. And it is good, good to be, be home. home. But this time it's my actual home I grew up in. So it's kind of a cool spin on that. But thank you for watching as always. Good night. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, 
It's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.